Hey everybody, it's Kate Richberg and it is Friday, February 18th, and it is time for Free Tip Friday. It's our kind of a preview show today of uh, what's going to be going on this weekend, and there's going to be a lot going on, and we're super excited about what's happening. So let me just tell you real quick we are broadcasting on a bunch of different platforms right now we're of course on our bead shop in our group and on our page and on our youtube channel but we'd also like to welcome people who are watching from the great bead extravaganza platform it's great to have you guys here and i know that you all know have uh, have been eagerly anticipating the um the the weekend uh this weekend extravaganza so we start tonight uh at 5 p.m pacific 5 6 7 8 p.m <laughs> eastern with a preview party with all of the great beat extravaganza participants including me and then we're going to um jump into the weekend saturday and sunday uh over on the great beat extravaganza page and group all of the companies are going to be broadcasting and I'm going to be broadcasting out to you tomorrow, Saturday, the 19th at 11 a.m. Pacific, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. OK, so let me uh, just put some things up so you know what's shaken here uh, on Bead Shop. Of course, you can follow us on our social at beadshop.com. Join us in our group at The Bead Table on Facebook. And of course, you can like and subscribe to us right on our YouTube channel. Give us that thumbs up and put on those notifications so you'll never miss a broadcast or a tutorial upload. Also, you guys, the kits that I'm going to be sharing with you, because we've got kits today that are going to go live at 12 noon, which is a little more than an hour and a half from now um, here on the West Coast our kits for the great beat extravaganza um and you can find all of the info on that project and product from today's broadcast right on our website um you're going to see them on the home page and right now they show sold out it's because they are not live yet so for all of that information also don't forget to sign up for our newsletter for the latest discounts giveaways and new products that are coming down the line from us here at beadshop.com so it looks like there's just so many people here look at that people are from all over of course janice is over on youtube saying hello to everybody and our wonderful gita from across the miles in denmark is taking care of business over on facebook so it's great to have all of you all here and watching gosh there's so many people jumping on today so if it's um if you're newer to bead shop um I will say that this year we are celebrating 40 years in the biz. Uh, we started as a brick and mortar and now we're exclusively online. So it's great to be celebrating our 40th anniversary. And this year we're going to be doing all kinds of 40th anniversary fun things as well, including a Q&A with Janice and I. Um, she's going to go down memory lane and talk a little bit about um things that uh have happened this last 40 years so it's going to be fun so stay tuned for that um i've got the preview of the kits here for you uh to show you um and i've got a little extra tip uh to share with you some of you know this um it might be a review for some of you but for some of you who are new i've got some leather tips for you um because you're gonna have maybe just a little bit of leather left over or if you want to elongate your bracelet or things like that this is a fun little tip for you guys okay so um it's great to have all you all here my goodness so many people are are here and jumping on um let me start right off the bat by saying uh, let me put up the uh schedule for the great bead extravaganza so here is the great bead extravaganza all my buddies right over here there they all are um all our friends uh we've got a giveaway that's going on uh, over on the great beat extravaganza um group and when you see this graphic that says giveaway you can enter your email for the giveaway right there and make sure you guys that it's under this graphic that you don't um 
you know, we never ask for payment or anything like that to enter this giveaway. Make sure that you uh, put your um, details in under the giveaway that has that photo. And that's in the group, the Great Beat Extravaganza group. And here's the schedule. You can also find the schedule over in the group. Um, preview night is tonight, February 18th. We're just going to jump on and say hello, and you can see all of us together. And then we start off tomorrow morning bright and early at 8.30 a.m. Pacific, 10.30 uh, a.m. Eastern with our buddies Andrew and William of Allegory Gallery. And then we go down to Candy Cooper, the always dynamic and fun Candy Cooper. And then I jump on at 11 Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. Um, and then it goes on throughout uh, the weekend. I also wanted to mention on Sunday, Tracy over from TierraCast, she'll be um, broadcasting and she'll be debuting, showing the brand new kits from TierraCast. And we've got those in stock. They're actually in stock now. So um, you can grab them over here on beadshop.com. They're right on the homepage if you jump over to the homepage and they look just like this. So you'll see those guys and those are real fun to go along with that new Tierra Cast launch. And last but not least with my commercial, you can see right here, right here, all this weekend, starting now, it started this morning, you can take 20% off store wide um, using coupon code TGBE20 at checkout here at beadshop.com. Um, and that goes through Monday night at midnight Pacific time. So anything you want to grab uh, this weekend, you can use that coupon code to save 20%. All right. Whew, that was a lot of info, wasn't it? My long commercial, right? <laughs> that was great. I'm just looking to see. Um, oh, this is a good question from um from uh kim crawford if you're signed in with Streamyard on one page do you have to sign in again on another page or there or is there a crossover if you're signed in to beadshop.com are you also signed in on great bead extravaganza allegory gallery etc that's a great question kim for those of you who are watching on facebook just so you know and let me um let me show you, um, give me one second here. Um, there we go. Um, let me show you here. I've got a little bit of info about that, if I can find it. So for StreamYard, let me show you this, okay? If you're in a group, and this doesn't apply to pages because pages are public. Let me get rid of Kim's comment here real quick. Since pages are public, StreamYard can see those comments, okay? But groups like our bead table, Facebook group, or if you're watching from the Bait Great Bead Extravaganza group, um, or like say the Allegory Gallery group rather than their page, since those groups are private, um, you need to jump over to StreamYard and let StreamYard see your live comments, okay? So we can't see, it'll look like this. It'll say Facebook user, et cetera, et cetera. So what you'll do is you'll go on over to, let me see, StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook, and you'll grant StreamYard permission to see your name right there. And I think it won't hurt you guys if you jump over and let StreamYard see you, depending on which group you're watching in, I don't think it gives blanket permissions. I think you probably have to do it for each group, quote unquote, you're watching in, if that makes sense. Okay. So, uh, so that's a great question. Thank you so much. Um, for that question, Kim. And yeah, the kits, you guys, um, don't stress. If you're worrying about um, getting those kits or whatever, um, for us on Bead Shop, they will go live at noon Pacific time. Right now it's 10.43 a.m. here on the West Coast, okay? So that's the story there, okay? So, uh, 
let's get started and let's take a look. There's so many of you guys, I'm seeing so many questions and all kinds of stuff like that on here. So sorry, I'm looking at you, you're looking at you guys over there on my feed. Um, and yeah, Kim's saying, yes, better safe than sorry. So grant those permissions so we can see that it's you and not just an anonymous Facebook user. So let me add this camera into the stream. Let me bring this over. And we've got some kits to look at, shall we? Shall we? I, th I think we shall. So this is, let me add this into the stream. You know, when I pick a project, for the great bead extravaganza. And sometimes I do something that's metal related, right? But sometimes I do things that are bead related, right? Because it's, there's so much to share in the bead world. And um, oh, it looks, I feel like this, this, how is it looking on your guys's end? Is it, are we, we're pretty clear. I think it's a little pixelated, right? Let me know you guys if we're clear or if it's looking a little funny. Bear with me here. There we go. I think no. Let me take this out and I'm going to try it one more time. There we go. Looks good. Okay. I think that's sharper. I think that's better. Um, okay. You know, sometimes the internet, uh, bear with me here just a second, you guys. I, I, is it better? Is it a little bit better? Um, of course, right when I want to preview these kits, I have a an issue here. So just bear with me while I I'm gonna fix it. Let's see. There we go. I think this will work out a little bit better here. And Oh, and thanks, Michelle. I'll put this up because Michelle is super computer savvy. Thank you for that about StreamYard. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can get this going in the right direction. And Janice just put up that link. There we go. That's better. Let's take a look here. Let me add this in. Yes, there we are. All right, sorry about that, everybody. But that's the joy of doing a live broadcast. Sometimes you just have to hang in there with it. And we always appreciate your patience on that. You know, I mean, I go live twice a week, right? So I'm pretty used to like dealing with glitches and stuff live. But this weekend, you guys, when you're watching everybody from the Great Beat Extravaganza, not everybody has that twice weekly live experience that I do or that some of us do who are presenting. So we always really appreciate your grace and your presence. Uh, your presence and your patience is what I meant to say, because, um, you know, we're all just we may look fancy on the outside, you guys, but we're just small little companies on the inside. Right. So um, so we always appreciate your patience with our shipping times and our um, response times and stuff like that. You know, things have been just so crazy these past couple of years. But rest assured, we're all doing our very, very best um, uh, to uh, do our very, very best for you, our wonderful customers, because we appreciate you so much. So here they are everybody, the Tahoe kits. Now, Tahoe was a project that was birthed a while back on beadshop.com, like so many of them were, um, from Janice, um, Janice Parsons, our, our bead shop founder. And, you know, this was, I don't know where, Janice, you may want to type it in about where you got your, your, um, inspiration for these, but we have a couple of different kits that we call Tahoe. Um, we have um, a, a smaller version of, of the Tahoe, and then we have these longer Tahoe wraps that we just love. And, you know, the wraps, you could wrap and go on and on and on and on and on, <laughs> right? 
um, uh, to make a really huge wide wrap bracelet. But this one will wrap for you four to five times. Okay, so when I chose the colors for these bracelets or chose the, the colorways that I was going to do, um, it all started with this mix of beads. You guys may remember the trunk show we did a while back with the beautiful African trade beads. Well, I also made some mixes from those um, that I, I got from our um, African trader that we've dealt with for so many years. And so I um, made three different color mixes. There's one in blue. You can see there's one in orange and um kind of orange and reds and there's one in kind of these greens and teals okay so you're going to get 25 grams we bag them into 25 gram bags and there's a mix of the striped gooseberry beads and the glass asana beads okay these guys here and then what you're also going to get in this kit and so when i was let me back up so i pulled a bunch of beads as i was shopping and this is how the colorways just went for it. And I thought that I would do the wraps in a kind of a monochromatic-ish palette. So if you wanted to stack them, like let's say, before I get into what's in the kit, let me just show you. If you wanted, and on me, this wraps five times. And I'll talk a little bit more about, you know, when I actually make the piece tomorrow i'm going to talk about length and 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 stuff like that but let me just get it around here let me get a little closer to my focal point so i can see it here as i put it on sorry about that let me put that one in the center it's hard enough putting as you guys know putting a bracelet on on your own but then putting it on in front of you know 200 people is uh is a feat in and of itself. So here's the green one I've got on here. Okay, so there's that one. And then you could stack them if you wanted to do two, right? Or you could do like get two kits and mix up the colors. So you have like a green blue colorway or a red and green colorway or whatever, right? So you can mix and match certainly with these guys, okay? And so, as I said, again, this wraps around five times like that, okay? And you can do, if your wrist is a little bit larger, you could wrap it, you know, four times. Um, and again, I'll talk about how to size that and stuff tomorrow during my segment. But the kit, just so you know what the kit is comprised of, we've got these really beautiful, that, those mixes that I made. And then we've got some leather. And we've got two sizes of leather. Now, we also have this recipe up on the website. So if you decide, you know what, Kate, your kits are nice, but I'm going to do my own thing. Um, there are a bunch of different samples that are on the website that will show you um, how it's, um, you know, how it's made or different ideas about what to use. The main thing is, you guys, that the outer section of the Tahoe here, right, is 1.5 millimeter, this one here. And the interior for these beads that I've chosen is one millimeter, okay? So you want to make sure whatever beads that you're using are going to fit on the leather that you've chosen. We also carry 0.5 millimeter in some of the different leather colors. You could certainly use that if you wanted to use beads that had smaller holes in there. So it just really depends on what it is that you're using. Okay. Now we also have some really great, these are what we call our shadows beads. We've got half a strand of those guys, which are nice. Um, it looks really, um, these, as you guys know, one of my, and then these are components from our buddies over at TierraCast. And one of the things that Janice discovered early on when we did one of our early um, uh, Tahoe bracelets was that these sliders here, like this, this is how they come, these barrel beads, are perfect for crimping down, right? So you can see here on this piece how this bead, that barrel, 
has been crimped. So it's like a giant leather crimp, right? And the tear cast plating is such that it's so durable that when you crimp it, it's nice and um, sturdy. So you're not going to have any cracking or anything on there. So it, it crimps just perfectly. Okay. You can see that just there. Okay. Um, and so you get, uh, um, I think nine of these, you can use them all or reserve one or two. It just depends. Um, or if you, you know, need to, to replace one or whatever, you've got plenty here. And the button I use, this is what we call our swirl button. And I love the look of it. And I love how this button kind of really you know, accented the beads in this bracelet really, really nicely. And then of course, we've got our big spacers here, what we call our happy donut beads, but they are nice, large spacers, kind of hammered spacers there. And um, they go in along this section. Now you can see here, and again, I don't want to do the whole project here because I'm going to be doing it tomorrow, but you can see here's one of the sections and you can see there's the variety of the beads there and there is no real rhyme or reason to how these are strung. Okay. And we'll talk about it a little bit more tomorrow when we do the actual project. So let me, <clears throat> let me put these guys back in and then I'm going to lay out all three of these colors. Now the colorway here, they're all based on things that are in and around Lake Tahoe and Lake Tahoe is partially in California and partially in Nevada. And so this green one is called Ponterosa and Ponterosa not only is a pine tree in the Sierras, here um, in California. But if you have your TV trivia correct, you will remember that the Ponterosa was also the name of the ranch in Bonanza. Anyone else a Bonanza fan like me? Early Michael Landon, right? Lauren Green. Um, I can't remember who else. Come on. The, that real handsome dude who went to play Trapper John MD in the 70s. Um, you guys will tell me. And um, uh, and who played Haas? Come on, his name's escaping me too. But if you guys remember, Bonanza was filmed uh, in and around um, the Lake Tahoe area. Right, Pernell Roberts. Thank you, Naomi. Pern Pernell Roberts. Good old Pernell. Um, and so the ranch is now closed. It used to be open. You could tour it, right? Yes, Dan Blocker, good old Dan, right? He was, the, I love Bonanza. I don't know. That was the heyday of the American Western TV Western, right? Um, but you could tour the Bonanza Ranch. And so I did, I did that actually. I, I think now it's closed, but it was pretty cool to see where it was all filmed and stuff. So I digress. This middle one is Ponterosa, not named uh, for the Bonanza Ranch, though it could be, but actually named for the Ponderosa Pine. Uh, this one is named North Star, North Star in Ohio, uh, one of the places I have skied up there, uh, not very successfully, but it is a great um, skiing place up in Tahoe. Also, it reflects the beautiful blue of the actual lake. And we called this red one California poppy because California poppies range from kind of uh, more of a lighter orange to a, a darker orange, right? So uh, so that's, uh, that's what they're named. And you can see I've paired the gold with the red, the copper with the green, and the silver with the blue there. Okay, so these kits, as I say, they're all going to be available at noon uh, Pacific time and um, grab these because they're limited edition. So when we've sold out, we've sold out. Okay, and also do know that they're up now um, and you can go over and toss them in your cart and stuff so you're ready. Um, we do have the um, tiara cast kits that are available for you that Tracy is showing this weekend as well. So I want to show you something that's kind of helpful um, with these guys, okay? And at the end, I'm again, I'll talk about it a little more tomorrow on my segment. And the segment starts at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. The way that I closed these in our former 
Tahoe wraps. And I've got one, pardon my reach here as I reach on over. <clears throat> I've got a couple here that I'll show you how we've closed them a little bit differently. This is a Tahoe that just uses eight aughts. Okay, or six aughts, I'm sorry. Six hots and hishi and little sh or regular shadows. This one closes using a toggle clasp right here. Okay, and that toggle clasp, you can see here's the crimp and the, the um, leather comes up and around through the toggle and back through that crimp flatten down and you can see here how this closes like so okay so that's another way that you could do it okay and then in our old school ones and we're trying to get these these or at least a substitute back in of these clasps here these uh, these were a real fan favorite this hook and eye um and again you just do your loops and crimp them into these ending clasps that are right here okay so what i did instead was i had that one millimeter come up to the final crimp and then i i pulled the um 1.5 millimeter beyond that crimped it cut away my excess and this closure here this is where you can really make the piece if you need it to be a little bit longer you could tie this loop a little bit further on down right so it makes the piece a little bit longer so this is where you can add and take away length okay here with a finished clasp you need to be super right on with the sizing okay so if that if that helps but something you could also do you're going to have a few short pretty short scraps of depending on the length of your piece of the 1.5 millimeter leather okay that you could um that you can use as well so let's say that you didn't want to make a loop like this on the end i wanted to share with you uh, what we call our trails end closure because let's say that instead of this closure here i came in and i created a loop on the end let's just say that's a single loop okay you could use this trails end closure to make this um even longer or adjust the length and i'll show you what i mean so that trails end um you've seen me do this many times but i'm going to show you again for those of you who haven't seen it and just a reminder for those of you who have um this is a great closure we've used it on a lot of um, different projects it's really great to make things adjustable okay so the way i'm going to do this one is i'm going to come in and i'm going to just test this loop this is just a leather scrap i have in my in my leather here so i'd want my loop to be about this big right and i want the smaller loop that i'm making to be a little bit smaller like that okay so i'm going to figure eight this leather and i'm going to come in with just a piece of regular ceylon though you could use chinese knotting cord you could also use 0.5 millimeter leather for this and see how i've made a loop here with that leather let me get a little closer with this so you can see it how i've got this tail and this long tail and this short tail then i've got this loop and i'll come in and i will wrap this long end around all of the leather plus the short end of my chinese knot or of my ceylon here then i'll switch hands and i'm going to wrap towards this loop now this is one of the first video tutorials we put on beadshop.com so you can go to how to silk wrap on the website and you can see that uh, watch that tutorial over and over now see how i've just wrapped here wrapped 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 and i've come in and with that loop i've just continued to pull my seal on through and i'm going to come in and as i pull the tail of the seal on 
see how it's pulling that connection right underneath. There it is, like a little gopher in a gopher hole, right, right under there. And then I use both my pull on both ends and tighten. Okay, and if you need help, like my fingers didn't want to really tighten that so well, what I'll do is I'll get my chain nose and I'll use that to help me pull. There we go. And then I'll turn it over or turn it around and help me pull this other side. And so that little connection is somewhere underneath here in the center. No glue needed. Then I'll come in, and usually with my wire cutters, I'll come in and I will just snip that end kind of at an angle and this end kind of at an angle, just real tight right there. And then I'll use my thread snips or I can thread burn it and clip away this extra thread. Okay, so now what I have is this little figure eight loop that's great for so many things. So see how this loop will come in and around that button, right? And this really does give it kind of a Western flair. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw caution to the wind and I'm going to unknot this. Let's just pretend that I haven't put this on yet. You'll see me knot these closed tomorrow in my demo. But for now, let's say that we didn't do a knotted closure. Let's say we just brought our one of our strands back around like this. Let me get these all out of the way back around like this to make a loop, okay? So what you would do is you would put that ending, let me see if I have to take these beads off or not. No, I can get this through. You'd take your ending cord and you would put it through your loop and you'd bring that cord back down into your crimp and then you'd crimp it, okay? So it has a little bit of an extender. It's kind of fun, right? It adds a little bit of Western flair, especially if you do, you know, you could also put a little charm right there. If I wanted to dangle a charm or whatever, you could do that, okay? And then, um, then it just adds another little design element to the piece. And Kari was saying, and it was a really great um, comment there. She said, this trick saved a simple bracelet that I made too short. Exactly. This is kind of a, a, a good lengthener, right? So if you have to make something just a touch longer, because this is about, this adds about an extra inch of length right there okay and paulette's asking were the tiara cat cast kits on the site yes they are on the home page right on the front page right um if you go right to beadshop.com you'll see them there okay so that's it that's the little trick i wanted to share with you that trails end use those scraps like look i've got another piece i can make one more closure they don't, you don't need really big scraps of leather to do this, right? Just this and some regular Ceylon or some fine Ceylon or some um, Chinese knotting cord. All of those things will work, okay? So let me wrap up this show here by saying uh, that we've got all of our kits available. Let me go ahead and let me tie this knot. Let me see if I can do it real quick here so I don't forget. Here we go. And I'm going to show you 
how we do these little closures and how I do some of my special knots here for the end. But I like the way just this simple knotted closure looks for, um, for this project. Let me make sure I made it the right size, not too small. Yeah, it's just fine. There we go. It's on there. So we've got Ponderosa, we've got North Star, and we've got California Poppy. We've got all of these. So if the homepage says sold out on these Tahoe kits, it's because they have not been put into stock yet. They go live at noon Pacific time. Okay, so at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern those bead shop Tahoe kits will go on sale. But as of now, I also believe we do have some of the Tierra Cast kits available. Okay, so there it is, right? Those three. I'm in love with them, and I'm so glad that you guys like them as well. And so the kits will all come in their own fun little um, organza, organza bags as well. Okay, so you can keep it in there and gift it or keep it for yourself um, all nice in the bag. And they all have these nice custom blends of the, the African beads that I did for you guys. So, you guys, that is that. That does it for my kit preview. I'll see you again tonight at 5 o'clock for the big uh, Great Bead Extravaganza preview. But for now, just so you know, uh, just as a reminder, those of you who came in a little bit later, we have our coupon code. All weekend, it goes actually until Monday at midnight Pacific time. You can take 20% off storewide using the coupon code TGBE20. Put that in at checkout and we'll knock 20% off of your cart. And of course, you can find all of the information on the project and products from today's broadcast right on our website. And don't forget to give yourself a newsletter sign up, you guys. We keep all of your info private. We don't sell it or share it, but you will um, get all of that info right from us, right into your email inbox about what's coming down the pipe. We've got some great kits coming. We've got some great projects coming. Um, I think you guys are going to um, love those, of course. And find us on social. Um, Drea put up a nice um preview of these Tahoe kits over on our Instagram page. You can also, we do some voting over there for new projects and new products that are coming. You can choose your favorite color um, to let us know what you'll like. And um, over on Instagram at beadshop.com, join us at the bead table, um, our Facebook group uh, for a lot of great, wonderful bead chat over there. And if you're watching us on YouTube live or on the replay, thank you so much. Hit that like and subscribe button. We really, really appreciate your support because without you guys out there, we here would not be able to be doing what we love. So I will see you tonight at the preview and I will, um, see you, um, this Saturday at 11. That's it. 11 a.m. Pacific, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern for the actual project. Thanks so much, everybody. And I will see you soon. Have a great weekend, all. Bye-bye.